welcome back to JLJ. It is July 24th, um, and we are on our third mm-hmm. Sunday of the month for, um, it's technically the fourth Sunday, but third one for um, trust. And last week we talked a little bit about Moses and the Israelites and the Red Sea, mm-hmm. um, you know, and trusting God to deliver us from situations. So this week, our as Aunt says, our Sunday school Bible story. <laughs> um, you know, it's well known talking about Abraham and Isaac mm-hmm. um, and sacrifice. Uh, and the verses we are going to read this week are Genesis 22, 6 through 12. Yeah, and this one, it, I, I will preface this by saying this is kind of a tough situation, I think, as parents um, yes. reading this. You know, when. I remember one of the first times we read it, maybe in Sunday school class or something together. Yeah. Um, you you were like, oh, this is I don't like this. Um, you know, and and it, it is. It's, I can say it. God knows my heart. <laughs> like He yeah. knows. Yeah. I, I, it's just it's a tough. <laughs> it's kind of a tough story to to put yourself in their shoes yeah. anyway. Yes. Um, so yeah. So we'll read the through this is a, is a few verses so yeah 6 through 12 <laughs> Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and placed it on his son Isaac and he himself carried the fire and the knife as the two of them went uh, went on together Isaac spoke up to his father Abraham to his, his father Abraham father yes my son Abraham replied the fire and wood are here Isaac said but where is the lamb for the burnt offering Abraham answered God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering my son and the two of them went on together. When they reached the place God had told him about, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. This is where it gets real. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then he reached out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called out to him from Abraham, from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Do not lay a hand on the boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld your son from me, from me, your son, your only son, and then it goes on to say how the Abraham looked up and there was a goat mm-hmm. in the in the weeds that was caught by its horns and stuff, and that uh, you know that that was what he was to use for the for the sacrifice. Um, yeah, that that gets pretty real, um, you, you know, right there pretty mm-hmm. quick. But but when you back up to the to me, when you back up to verse eight. And Abraham answered Isaac, and he said, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. Mm-hmm. At that point in time, he is fully trusting God. When they let, when God called him at the mm-hmm. base of the mountain to go up and make a sacrifice, he went right then without a lamb. Mm-hmm. He went with the wood, he went with the knife, he went with the fire, and he went with Isaac. But to me, in, in his heart, he knew... God was going to provide, and that's what He tells the Son right there together as they're on their journey mm-hmm. up the mountain. Um, you know, His he, he was He was just absolutely fully trusting God was going to provide in that situation. Um, you know, the Old Testament, which is obviously where this is where this is set, sacrifices were something that they had to do a lot of mm-hmm. all the time, all the time. Um, burnt <laughs> offering, grain offering, all kinds of sacrifices. You know, um, I, I'm so thankful that the sacrifice for our sins was made complete. Yes. And that we didn't, you know, thankfully we didn't have to do any part of that. No. The, 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 the only part we have to do at that now is trust. Mm-hmm. We have to trust in Jesus' sacrifice that it was complete. It was everything that we need. It was completely done all at one time for all eternity, for everybody who will, mm-hmm. who will put their trust in him. Um, that is, you know, that's where our ultimate trust lies at this point in time yeah. in our life. Yeah. I just, I mean, I always, anytime we read that story or <laughs> have a study on it, I'm always just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to stop you in your tracks, I, I, huh? I think I think Jenny would fail <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> um and then I'd be really mad if I took Parker. <laughs> so, I mean, there's like twofold there. Right. Um, but yes, I'm so thankful we don't have to sacrifice Parker or any of our children. Um, you know, that sacrifice is done and made made 
that's yeah. yes, yeah. very much so. Yeah. Um, you know, but but for Abraham to just have that much trust, I mean, because you know, I mean, you know, for for us, you know, our kids are our our little prized possessions. So mm. I mean, it's like nothing hurts you worse than your child hurting or something, and you know, to be put in the position that he's supposed to take his child up there and do this. Um, you know, but like Alt said, you know, in his heart, I think he knew that God was going to provide. But I mean, he went through all the motions. Yep. Um, you know, and and so that to me is kind of like ultimate trust. And I kind of think of just, you know, I was just trying to think of, you know, when it. Thankfully, our kids are like healthy. They've not really had anything. You know, Parker broke a wrist once, and mm-hmm. Abby's knees are always popping out of place. But <laughs> You know, like, we've never had anything major with our kids. Yeah. I mean, the only time that was ever anything a scare was when I was pregnant with the twins. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they kind of like our 20-week ultrasound said Parker had some, he had, like, some water spots on his brain and a two-vessel cord. And and those were both markers for, like, Down syndrome. And they wanted me to have an amnio that day. Yeah. Um you know, and then and then told me he could be born with like all these abnormalities and that like we would have to sign whether we wanted him to live when he was born. It was like yeah, was all this info in an hour. Mm-hmm. And and I think even in that moment, like, you know, I just had that peace. I was like, you know, whatever God gives us gives us. Like, yeah. you know, you can do all this stuff you want to, but mm-hmm. um, you know, and that's really the only time I feel like I've had to like be okay God like I trust you like you know that he's going to be born healthy that he's not going to have to decide whether he lives or dies yeah. at birth you know all these things that this lady told me yeah. um, or told us at the time but mm-hmm. you know it just it's just one of those things until you're in that situation and, and we have friends that have had kids have medical conditions and you know to watch them walk through that mm-hmm. I think here on earth that's kind of like unfortunately where your trust probably has to come and play the most is yeah. when unfortunately something happens and you know you have to trust that you know the outcome is you know god's will mm-hmm. yeah absolutely and the, uh, that was a very tough uh appointment i can remember <laughs> sitting through that and we were both kind of just sitting there in shock like what is this what is this lady telling us you know mm-hmm. where did all this come from everything seemed like it had been going fine mm-hmm. Um, but uh, but yeah, it, it obviously none of that came to be, and, no. and we're very thankful yeah. for that. But we would, uh, yeah, we we mm-hmm. absolutely were trusting God at that point in time that He knew He knew everything mm-hmm. that was going on in, inside of your womb, and that if if Parker if that was the way it was supposed to be, then that was what it was mm-hmm. supposed to be. But we were going to love Him either way. So yeah, um, yeah, and I think He designed Him perfectly and to ask lots of questions. <laughs> <laughs> He's very good at that. Actually, at the water park just the other day, signed by the door. I, I, I just total tangent here, but it said, uh, "Chocolate does not ask a lot of silly questions. Chocolate just understands." And I, I made Parker read that before we left because sometimes he asks some semi silly questions. Yeah, yeah. lot lot of questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you know, I mean, I I think we can probably all look back and have something at some point in our lives that you know we either had to make a choice and just fully trust god that this is you know the choice i'm making or if it's something you need to do currently Mm -hmm. um you know to know that you know sometimes it comes with sacrifices that are hard but Mm -hmm. you know in the end that you're trusting god that it's going to be okay yeah And, and that and that the single biggest thing we can put our trust in with god is with the sacrifice that he made you know mm-hmm. I, the story with abraham and isaac kind of is foreshadowing mm-hmm. to god sending his son not withholding his only son you know that's mm-hmm. and that's what it um that, that angel of the lord that came from heaven and it said do not do anything to him i know that you fear god because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Mm-hmm. That's what God did for us. Mm-hmm. He didn't withhold his son, mm-hmm. his only son from us. He sent his only son to earth mm-hmm. to be perfect, to be the sacrifice that we could not be. Mm-hmm. And as 
Christians after Jesus, you know, A.D., mm-hmm. <laughs> from there forward, that's all. For us to spend eternity in heaven, that is all we have to do is trust that his work on the cross was complete. It was everything that we cannot provide mm-hmm. that we're just trusting in his righteousness and, uh, and that complete work on the cross. And that's what we, I mean, that's all he asked for us to, <laughs> to do, you know. There's, yep. there's no works that we can do. There's nothing that we can earn with that. Um, it's just trusting in the sacrifice that God provided. Um, and then we're we're complete. So I'm not going to read all those all those verses again. I'll just read the read that last verse uh, 12 one more time um, to, uh, to wrap this up. We're good to wrap it up. You mm-hmm. have anything? Good to wrap Okay. So yeah, so uh, Genesis 22, just going to finish up with verse 12 again. Do not lay a hand on the boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. So thank you for yeah. watching this week, and we will see you again uh, next week to wrap up trust. Yeah.